everybody one here from language academy guys welcome back to another video the fourth video of the revision series and in this video we are going to look at the fourth task of your speaking module Peter lecture one of the task students often over complicate but at the same time if you follow the strategies if you understand the task if you understand how the exam actually works this is a piece of cake you don't have to worry about anything Let's get into the video quickly and try to cover as much possible, as much you need in um, shortest time possible. Now, very first thing, you'll have one to two detailed lectures in your test. This task will give you points in speaking and in listening. What happens in this task? You'll get an audio lecture. The lecture can be anywhere between 40 to 90 seconds, sometimes even longer. Once the lecture is done, you have 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, you have to retell the lecture in your own words and you are given up to 40 seconds to speak. It's not mandatory that you have to speak 40 seconds. And it's not the case that if you'll speak more, you'll get more points. It's more about satisfying the marking criteria. Now, what is the marking criteria? Similar to other modules or other tasks, actually in the speaking module, written lecture is also marked on three parameters, fluency, pronunciation, and content. Fluency, again, is not your speed, it's your flow. To get full points in fluency, you have to you have to avoid going too fast. You don't have to go too fast or too slow. You have to speak at a moderate pace without any kind of pauses and hesitations. You can take natural pauses after a sentence or a full stop, but you cannot pause anywhere. Pronunciation. Pronunciation is your clarity to get full points in your, um, in your pronunciation. First of all, keep it natural. Keep it simple. Don't try to imitate any kind of accent. You can speak naturally in your own accent. Second, don't rush. Speak moderately at a moderate speed so that you can speak clear as well and last do not speak any word you're not sure about let's say you have written down 10 points from the lecture you don't know how to pronounce three or four words skip those three four words only speak words which you are sure and confident because if you speak a word incorrectly you'll not get any points in your content and you lose points in your pronunciation as well last content how do you get full points in content to get full points in content, you have, now I'll tell you how it actually works. PT tells you that you have to speak or describe all the details from the lecture, but that is not actually the case. Remember this thing, there's no fixed answer. Computer is going to check your answer. And let's say one lecture is given to 10,000 different students. Each and every student will have a different answer. There's, so there's no fixed answer. There's no right or wrong answer. What all the students will have in similar are the keywords from the image or from the lecture. Let's say the lecture is about um, coronavirus. So all of us will have keywords related to coronavirus which were there in the lecture. No two students will have the same answer. So there's no fixed answer, but what computer is actually going to look for are the keywords. To get full points in your content part, what you have to do, you have to make sure you include around 12 keywords from the lecture in your answer. What are keywords? Important words, words repeated again and again, proper nouns, words re related with the topic, um, nouns basically. So nouns are important keywords. Try to include around 12, 13 keywords or nouns from the lecture and you will be 100% fine. So don't go too fast or too slow and avoid any kind of unnatural pauses for your fluency. For your pronunciation, speak moderately fast at a moderate pace and do not speak any word you're not sure about do not try to imitate your accent keep it natural and for your content make sure you have got around 12 keywords or 12 important words from the lecture in your answer what you have to do how you have to do how you have to attempt the three parts before the lecture starts you have three seconds once the lecture starts it can go anywhere between 40 to 90 seconds after the lecture stops you have 10 seconds to prepare and then 40 seconds to tell your answer before your lecture starts, you should have your notepad. There will be a different notepad given in your um, test and your pen ready because as soon as the lecture starts, you have to take down notes. Once the lecture starts, you have to take down notes. Once the lecture stops, you have 10 seconds. In those 10 seconds, read your notes, revise your notes so that you can speak fluently and comfortably when your recording goes on. Once your recording goes on, one year, once your microphone is um, turned on, once you have to give your response, you have to read from what notes you have taken, but it will be very difficult for you to frame sentences at that moment because you'll be under time pressure, you'll be nervous and things can go wrong. 
therefore you have to use a template i'll be giving you i've got 90 each using this template many of my students have got their desired scores even 90 each using this template the template is on your screen so dash was the main topic of the lecture he told about one two and three he told about four five and six he told about seven eight and nine so you have got around 12 15 keywords and then to conclude the lecture was informative or very informative now what are keywords keywords are notes you'll take down while the lecture is going on how you have to take down keywords let me share my screen with you and that will make it better and understandable and even clear how everything works right so something similar this is how your screen is going to look like let's move on to the next one right $1.2 trillion of debts for diplomas make it abundantly obvious that higher education is a consumer product you can buy. All of us talk about education just as the economists do now, as an investment that you make to improve the human stock by training them for work, as an investment you make to sort and, and classify people so that employers can buy, uh, hire them more easily. The US News and World Report ranks colleges just as the Consumer Report rates washing machines. The language is full, peppered with barbarisms. Teachers are called service providers. Students are called consumers. Sociology and Shakespeare and soccer and, and science, all of these are content. Student debt is profitable, only not on you. It is your debt fattens the profit of the student loan industry. The two 800-pound gorillas of which, Sally May and Navient, posted last year a combined profit of $1.2 billion. And just like home mortgages, student loans can be bundled and packaged and sliced and diced and sold on Wall Street. And colleges and universities that invest in these securitized loans profit twice, once from your tuition, and then again from the interest on debt. With all that money to be made, are we surprised that some in the higher education business have begun to engage in false advertising, in bait and switch, in exploiting the very ignorance that they pretend to educate? Now here the lecture was pretty lengthy, right? Um, when the lecture is lengthy, let's say the lecture goes on for 90 seconds. And in around 70 seconds, you feel you have got enough content. You stop writing once you feel you have enough content and start revising your notes. This is what I've written. Deaths for Diploma was the main topic of the lecture. He told about higher education, economist and human stock. He told about people, employers and US report. He told about consumer report, service providers and students. He told about consumers, content and profitable. He told about student loan, $1.2 billion and home mortgage. He told about Wall Street, student loan and consumers. To conclude, the lecture was very informative. So you don't have to take too long or too lengthy keywords. What I suggest per word, you take one or per keyword, take one or two words. For example, debts for diploma, do not go lengthier than this. And sometimes students might find it difficult to speak three keywords in a sentence. So you can say he told about one and two keyword. He told about three and four keyword, right? Now let's say the lecture is short, you have less keywords. You only have seven keywords. You have two options to speak. One first option is you just speak those seven keywords, stop, you're going to lose points. But what I'll recommend, you have less keywords, you repeat the same, go around 25, 30 seconds. Some students complain that they are not able to see if they have actually spoken 25 to 30 seconds. To make it easier, what I'll recommend speak he told about seven to nine times so dash was the main topic of the lecture he told about he told about he told about around seven eight nine times and you'll be fine now another tip which i want to give you is this if you have a look here 
I'll share my screen and that is going to make it easier for you. What you need to do is, let's say this is your notepad, right? Let's say this is your notepad. Many, the problem which majority of the students face is they're not able to read what they have written. Let's say this is a notepad. What you have to do is you have to divide it into rows and columns like this. Then write one keyword here, 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 here and here. Why? This way you will be able to take the keywords or notes in an organized way in a way where you will be able to read what you have written. Please, it's my humble request, do not be greedy, don't try to write down each and everything. Just take down easy keywords, keywords which you can speak clearly and you can write neatly. Once you are done, once you have enough keywords, you use the template and speak it. If you have less keywords, you repeat the same keywords, doesn't matter. If you speak clearly, confidently and in a flow for around 25 to 30 seconds, you cover main keywords you find. Sometimes you also get video along with the lecture. Do not watch the video, you know, it's just to distract you, don't worry about it. Sometimes you might have an image as well along with the lecture. If you find easy, you can speak few keywords from the image. But if the keywords over there are difficult, skip them. No need to speak each and everything. You can just speak few keywords from the lecture and you'll be fine. Again, to sum up how you have to get full points, take down around 12 keywords, easy keywords, neat keywords, and make sure you write as clearly as possible, avoid long keywords. Speak in a flow, don't go too fast or too slow. Take natural pauses, but avoid any kind of unnatural pauses. Pronunciation, do not speak any word you're not sure, rather you can repeat the easy words. That's what you have to do. Speak around 25 to 30 seconds, follow the template and you'll be 100% fine. And you can be assured I've got 90 using that same template. You can see our scorecards. Every day, thousands of students all over the world watching the videos, they're getting the scores. Every day, around 40, 50 students from all the campuses all across India and Australia and online students are getting their desired scores. So you don't really need to worry about anything. If you follow the template, follow it religiously and implement the strategies properly, you'll be 120% fine. That's it from this video. If you have any doubts, do leave them in the comment section. If you have any suggestions on what other topics should I be covering in the coming videos, please do let me know. And if you found this video helpful, do like, share and subscribe. If you need any help, you are in India, you can visit any of our branches or in Australia, you can visit our branch over here. And if you need any online help, classes, training, visit our website, contact us on these numbers and we'll be with you. Last, to practice for free, to make sure you are doing it the right way, register on languageacademy.com.au. It's free to register, free to practice for now. You can practice as many questions, get instant feedback and analysis as well. And lastly, there's one free full score mock test. Before you go for the test, do take the mock test. It will give you a clear idea where you stand and what other things you need to cover up. Welcome from Language Academy, I'll see you very soon. Till then, take care and stay safe. Go on Language Academy and if you need any help, do contact us. We'll make sure you don't waste your time and money and get your desired scores in the very first attempt. I'll see you very soon.